it is going to take me a few more videos to finish all of my getting started in ART 12AD demo. But before I move forward, I just want to emphasize, you don't have to watch these videos. Everything in the course is self-explanatory if you read the text. And so if, because I'm being very long-winded because I want everyone to feel very comfortable that they've done everything that they need to to be successful in the class, um, I will try not to be as long-winded in the future. Um, if you would rather read the instructions, all the pages in Canvas will explain everything that I'm saying. And so if you're like, oh my gosh, it just keeps going on and on, um, you don't have to watch the videos. You could just keep reading, and then you could use the videos to kind of fill in where you've missed something. Okay, with that being said, um, now that we've gone through the navigation structure of the class, I want to talk to you how about how you will actually do your coursework. So when you get to the course, you'll land on the home page. What I would recommend is the first thing you should always do is click on the announcements tab and read any new announcements that I've sent. At the very least, I will send an announcement at 8 a.m. or earlier on Monday morning explaining everything that you should do throughout the semester. And so I have, I've got a sample announcement that I saved that I'm gonna send out on week two. So it says Art 1280 week two. I'll put the dates. It will explain. It says, I like to send out weekly announcements. This is what you'll receive every Monday morning. I also like to kind of block it out and say, this is what I recommend. So I'm not going to read it in detail, but you can see that it says on Monday, you should complete anything that was due last week that has not yet been submitted. This includes all of module one, the getting started module, what we're working on right now, plus lesson one. It, it was due Saturday of the first week. Then on Tuesday and Wednesday, you'll work on lesson two, and you can budget your time however you want. You just have to make sure that you get it done by Wednesday, January 16th at 11.59 p.m. What I would recommend, if your schedule's flexible enough, if I recommend doing it on Tuesday and Wednesday, I would do it on Tuesday, and then if you have Wednesday as carryover, then you have it, but almost all the lectures can be done in one day or one sitting if you have maybe two or three hours to sit and do your coursework. Then on Friday and Saturday, I recommend completing Lesson 3 Bridge. Notice how it does not say Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's kind of a cue to you that it shouldn't take three days to work on. So you have something due every Wednesday and Saturday. So in theory, you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to work on the Wednesday thing, and Thursday, Friday, Saturday to work on the Saturday thing. The Adobe Bridge lecture is not that thorough or comprehensive. It's just I want you to have an idea what bridge is. And so it shouldn't take more than two sittings or even one long sitting. At the end of every announcement that I send out, I will also list all the things that are past due. And so everything that you see highlighted with blue means that it's already been due. And so you'll see that it's kind of weird because the page is really wide. But what will happen is I will add more columns to this. And so I'll say we're in module two and lesson one's been due. And then the next week, so week three's announcement, will say all of module one was due, plus we've already done lessons one, two, and three. And so if you haven't done those, you need to play catch up and get caught up. Once you've read all new announcements, um, you should know what you're working on, but you can always go to the schedule. So let's pick a random day. I'm gonna pick April 14th. And if you log in for April 14th, April 14th is a Sunday, so that's kind of good. So we're going to get started with that week. You can see on the calendar that this week you have to complete creating vector art actions and preferences. Creating vector art is a regular size lecture, but actions and preferences are very small. So if you look at the due dates, creating vector art is due by Wednesday the 17th, and then actions and preferences are due by Saturday the 20th. And so you should have an idea what you should be working on, or you could have read my course announcement. So you'll click on modules. In that specific example, you'll know that you're working on module 6 because you'll know that you've already finished module 5. And then you can scroll down to vector art and you can get started with your coursework. Now this week, the first week of the semester, you're going to complete everything in module 1 first. And so when you click on modules, it just naturally drops you into module 1. And so you'll read through everything on this page. Um, it basically explains how the course is set up and gives you a heads up on some key things, so make sure you read through it. And then for the first module, there's a series of required activities and a series of required submissions. Always remember that you cannot successfully complete the submissions without doing the activities. So your course syllabus would just list these four activities, but you can't answer like the syllabus question if you haven't read the syllabus, which is one of the options on the left-hand side.